Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here today. Samba sharing between a Windows 11 PC and the Steam Deck. Now, obviously SSHFS is very convenient, but for some people that may be slower, have some problems, this is just another way to skin the same cat. So we have here uh, my Windows 11 PC in the back, and then right here in the front is the Dolphin File Manager as it's running on the Steam Deck. We're gonna create a new folder in whatever location you desire on your machine and I will call it shared with deck. You can call it whatever you like. It doesn't have to be called that. I'm gonna grab a small file here and I'm gonna copy it into that folder just to make sure that once I find the folder on the deck side that I know that I'm in the right folder. Next up, we need to share it. So let's right click and go down to properties. Should be at the very bottom of the list and go to the sharing tab. Now you may be tempted to hit that share button at the top, but don't do that. Hit advanced sharing. It's gonna work out better for us. We're going to say share the folder. And since I've already done this exercise once, I have another share here, but let's go ahead and just call it that. You can call it whatever you want, by the way. And then you can leave a comment there, select permissions and give everybody full control. Now you could set up your, a, your own user for this, blah, blah, blah. We're trying to give you minimum viable product here. So everybody gets full control. Now it says, you know, you've already got one of those shares. Shut up, I know, you won't see that. All right, now before you close this thing, I know you're thinking, okay, I'm ready to go and you'll hit close. Open this link right here, Network and Sharing Center. Uh, we need to check on something. So um, we have a private network and a public network. Now, if you didn't change anything, you've probably got a public network, which we actually don't want. What we want is a private network, but make sure you turn on network discovery and we'll let it do the device automatically and then file sharing. Okay, so. We're gonna turn that on for private networks, even though that's not quite what we're using. Okay, now let's do this. Next up, we need to go to our network center and unfortunately the window's in the way. Let me let me get rid of the uh, window there. Go down to your sys tray at the bottom and you're gonna be looking for your network icon. Go to network and connection settings. I'll turn that back on. So now it says right up here, properties, public network. That's gonna invoke as much security as possible because they're worried that you're on a public network. We're on a private network. So let's go ahead and change that now. All right, so a private network means that we trust the people that are internal to us on our network. For most people, that's fine. Now let's review. We made a new folder, we shared it, we put some files in it, we made sure that our network settings were right. I think we're ready to go and take a look here now on this side. So we go into the network of our Steam Deck, right? It's there on the left, remote network. And no matter what we do, this, this window is completely boogered, right? I mean, sometimes it'll see two things, sometimes it'll see five things, sometimes it'll see what you're looking for, sometimes it won't see what you're looking for. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but I sat here and monkeyed with this thing over and over and over again, trying to see my local Windows 11 PC. In my previous run of doing this prior to shooting the video, it actually did show up, but this time it doesn't. All right, forget about the guesswork. Let's go up to the address bar and add my machine name dot local. So my machine is Shane Box, right? That's the name of my machine on the network. So Shane Box dot local. And we'll see if it will find it if I actually tell it where it is since it's seeming to have so much trouble actually getting it on the list. Come on, I'm leaving all this in, by the way, because I want you to see all, oh, there it is. Holy crap, there's all my drives, everything else. Great. So if I go back to network, it should eventually show back up in here. Now you're probably saying, Shane, how the hell did you know what your machine name was? Okay, that's a fair question. If you're not a Windows guru, maybe you're not completely clear. In order to get your machine name, it's pretty simple. Go over to your Windows Start menu, right-click it, and select System. And then right here is Device Name, and you see it's called Shanebox. So that's where you get it. Hey, look over here. Look there, Shanebox now shows up. Will it work when I go inside, inside of it now? I mean, that's really the question here. Is it going to work when I get there? And we're waiting, and we're waiting. There it is. Okay, now let's go in the folder here and see if that file's there where I put it. Wait, what? No shared folders found. This thing is so wacky, man. I mean, it seems so un... Oh, there we go. I hit F5 and it showed up. So there's the file. So now I could copy that file. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I could copy that file somewhere else on my Steam Deck. 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this to places, right click and add it to places. This time, anytime I need to get to it, I can go to it directly, not through the network here, which is seemingly unreliable, um, but I can always go to it from a single click. Now let's see if it actually shows up this time. <laughs> Flip the coin and see if it comes up. And it does. Okay, see that shanebox.local. There it is. Excellent, okay. Well, that works. So let's go to our downloads and try to copy something over there. It's loading, come on. Oh, oh, here we go. Now, I got past this before because I'd already logged in once. Now it's telling me I didn't save the password, so it's gonna prompt me for my credentials again. You can set up a local account on your Windows 11. I'm just using the administrator password, right? That way I have access to my C drive, my D drive, my E drive, everything. Uh, and make sure you, you select remember password or you'll have to type in this every time. So now we can go ahead and paste in that file we were gonna copy and there she is. Let's make sure on the Windows side of things that that folder actually got the file in question and it did. So this is pretty neat, right? So I could actually, uh, you know, do all sorts of things. Let's copy a really big file. Let's see how fast it is. Because if you've been using SSH and stuff like that, that's pretty slow. But look how fast Samba is. Is it worth putting up with the nonsense of Samba Share to get this kind of speed? That's a four gigabyte file, my friend. That's a nice, healthy chunk of change. And it is going very, very fast. So maybe Samba's actually worth it, <laughs> worth all this nonsense and setup, especially if it continues to work in the future. That's a pretty big file. And there it is. That's, that's pretty damn neat. Now, if you're like me and you have a backup of your emulation folder with your ROMs and BIOS files and all that other good stuff on your Windows 11 PC, yes, that's right. We can right click emulation, select properties, go to share, do the advanced sharing, leave it called emulation or whatever you want. I'm gonna call it emulation on PC. Again, whatever you wanna call it, permissions. Say allow for all, apply and okay. Now, if we go over here, back to our uh, Steam Deck. Now, we, I know what you're thinking. There's already a share going to that shared with deck. So that's not gonna show up in here. We're gonna have to go get a new share. Fortunately, Shanebox is still here, <laughs> providing it actually works this time. And there it is. Hey, and there's emulation on deck. Sweet. So let's right click and add that to places. Nice. So now we have access to say some of those rather large files, like maybe PlayStation 3 games or Xbox games or CHD files for MAME that are ridiculous in size. Of course, I don't have anything in PS3 right now, but you get the idea. So we have full access to this. We can split, put our, our emulation on the PC on one side, emulation on the deck on the other side, and we can just sit here and copy ROMs and BIOS files all day long. So that's really cool. There's 101 reasons that you might want to do this, uh, Samba Share. It's obviously very, very fast. Um, I still use SSH all the time because to me, I don't like that intermediate sort of save and copy and save and copy over, but your mileage may vary. Hey, listen, if you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Uh, I appreciate all of you. Uh, I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.